Welcome to Good Service. We are your hosts, Ben Chung. And Kevin Zha. Each week, we'll be breaking bread and having real, raw, and vulnerable talks about life, faith, and everything in between, and always over a fire meal. Thanks for joining our table today. Let's eat. Folks, welcome or welcome back to another episode of Good Service. We are your hosts, Ben. Kevin. And uh, we're very excited for today's guest. Today, we have rapper and songwriter hailing from Atlanta, Georgia. His debut single, Never Change, reached 1.5 million views on YouTube in 2010. In 2017, he won the regional and national grand prize at Collaboration Star, which landed him a performance spot at South by Southwest in 2018. He is a son of Korean immigrants that speaks about cultural identity. (laughs) Faith and self acceptance. We have James Han, aka <laughs> hey. Uzu Han, in the pod. Why are you Thanks laughing, bro? Me. You wrote this in your bio. I, know. Yeah, I didn't on, think you'd do man. the whole bio. Oh, no, you know what, though? Man. I wasn't sure if I should, but I uh, felt no, 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 it, it felt cool. right. It yeah. felt yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. You know? I appreciate yeah, yeah. it because people don't really. Yeah. No, no, I think it's because, okay, ever since moving to LA, just the connection, the heart connection and resonance that I have with people sure. who are either kids of immigrants or Korean, Korean American. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm they resonate with it but in atlanta and maryland i'm not always finding people like that mm. so in in one sense i'm i'm not laughing because i'm uncomfortable it's more like oh I, actually i'm uncomfortable because i know it resonates and yeah. i'm not used to it yeah so it's there more is. like there oh i get that you know i, you I know? just think that most people feel uncomfortable when they like receive their own flowers and they hear it themselves yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's kind of like words yeah too. I'm yeah like, yeah Bleh. but dude they nah it's all about representing and representing yeah, well yeah, yeah. well so before we get into it we have a uh, uh, uh awesome meal in front of us today mm. we are going to enjoy the window and um i personally am a huge fan of smash burgers it's my favorite type of eating burgers kevin mm-hmm. knows a whole lot about this Yes, and so the window is. Um, I I look, dude. This is how nerdy I get about smash burgers. Don't don't get into it yet. Don't get into it yet. Oh, yeah, yeah, not yet. Um, We're analyzing. And, it. and it, it, you know, because I love smash burgers so much. Like I've like even Googled like what are the best smash burgers in L.A. Yeah, and this sits at like one of the top five. So wow. that wow. said, you know, no <laughs> pressure to the window. But yeah, we're wow. today we're just enjoying their classics. This is their 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 classic uh, cheeseburger with the classic double patty. And then we got their fries with the jalapeno aioli, and then we got their house good. house sauce. But before we get into the bite, we like to inspire our food uh, prep with a question, uh, a thought to kind of uh, take our bite, and then we kind of reflect on it, our first bite reflection. So um, I was thinking about just, um, you know, uh, I, I know you're an artist, and um, I'd love to get into the story of just kind of your journey in that. But um, I think as people, as artists, as creatives, as just human beings, we evolve as we, um, you know, when, from where we start to maybe where we're at today, there is a, a process of evolution. Yeah. So I, I love to sort of like um, drop a pin in that process of evolution. So um, with that in mind, how do you feel? This is a two-part question. How do you feel that you are showing up in the world today yeah and what do you think is driving that Mm. so how do you feel you are showing up in the world today and what do you feel is driving that so we do a little air we're gonna dab up our our burgers boom there it is we take our bite Ooh, here we go i'm excited for this these initial bites right here Mmm. I won't say anything. I'm gonna let y'all talk first. My goodness. I like it. I got opinions. Got opinions, (laughs) okay. Feel free to drop them, bro. Mm, No, the aioli. Mm. Yeah, the jalapeno. You know what, let me try the aioli. Yeah, that that sounded really good. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I I like that a lot. aioli hits, man. Mm. Oh wow. If anything, I'm gonna put some of that on my plate. Yeah. can we do that? Is that yeah. you know what's a yeah. big part wow. of a good smash burger that I realized? Wow. It's the bun. The bun it's is a, huge. It's a different type of bun than your normal it is. hamburger bun. The secret to a good smash burger is a potato bun. Potato bun. Because it has a softness to the bite. It doesn't hold shape like a brioche. 
Oh. So what you want, you want a bun that almost like if you hold it too tight, the bun starts forming to the meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like memory foam. <laughs> memory yeah, memory foam, foam bread. <laughs> bread. So one of the mm. things right here, I will say, this is actually a very good burger. And the reason mm -hmm. why there's a lot of flavor in the meat. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it it's always good to season all your hamburger meat, all those uh, folks that are grilling burgers at home. Flavor your meat, y'all, mm -hmm. please. And then the, the secret sauce they put in here is pretty fire. I would say this is standard cheddar, so this is pretty good. Mm -hmm. And then one thing I will say, and the reason why I have so many opinions is because I own a Smashburger brand myself, so <laughs> oh. I have to talk about it this way. One thing they did miss, though, I'll be honest, this is not a true Smashburger. Oh, why not? They have all the ingredients of a Smash. I, the think, I, might, I think I might know what you're about to say. Go mm -hmm. ahead. Say it. You need crispy edges. I was about to say. <laughs> crispy what? The crispy edges of the, the meat So patty. when you do a true smash burger, what happens is you smash it so thin on the sides mm -hmm. that it crisps the edges. Mm -hmm. This is in smash style. They did smash the, the hamburger for sure. Mm -hmm. However, they didn't smash it enough on the edges to get that crisp. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's what makes a true smash, man. So in that sense, I would like say... You know, not a true, true smash burger, but okay. a really good burger, though. This is this is flavor, flavor is good, money, buns good, just lacking a little bit of that crisp on the patty. Yes, okay. however, the That's aioli fair. jalapeno yeah, fire, it kind of makes up. For I it. think it so elevates good. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the so aioli. Good. I mean, well, I'm not really a food connoisseur, so you know, I just I thought it you were good an expert, to me. bro. You just said you were a <laughs> you were a foodie. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. I like to eat food. Yes, yeah, same, uh, same, same. You know, I'm not bougie about it either. Mm -hmm. You know, I have some friends. If I tell them I had like <clears throat> McDonald's, they'd probably like judge me. Actually, y'all might judge me too. But you know, no, man, I eat McDonald's all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we all love yeah, McDonald's. Okay, okay, maybe cool, not cool. all the time, yeah, but yeah, I enjoy, yeah, yeah, I enjoy yeah. a good McDonald's meal. No, we got, sure. we got no judgment on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's There's cool. Just, you could have judged. Have to talk about I'm just, just have to talk about the burger. <laughs> all right, so let's get back into that question. So how, uh, how do you feel that you are showing up in the world today? And yeah. what do you feel is driving that? Um, I think for me, um, as an artist, I, I'm, I'm thinking of like um, things that I believe in outside of myself, mm -hmm. you know, all, mm -hmm. all the time. And throughout, you know, I've been making music since like 2010 and mm -hmm. been a solo artist since 2013. Mm -hmm. So I'm constantly thinking about this idea, you know, how can I show up in the world? What can I contribute? What can I, what's within me? How has God created me to um, be distinctly myself and, and mm -hmm. let that be I don't know the the special sauce in the that the world can benefit from. Um, so for me, I think lately because of my story, I have been really intrigued and and present with um, emotional health within, especially amongst men. And and it, what I mean by that, uh, maybe an example. Like, have y'all heard of, heard of uh, Jason Wilson? Do you know who he is? Mm -hmm. He's a he's a um, he's a a, a, a father. Uh, he he's black, has this like gray beard. You might have seen he has like a martial arts dojo. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, he's yeah. like uh, that kid who was crying. And yeah, he, like, yeah. Yes. Yeah, he's like on, down on one knee. I'll yeah, be honest, yeah, yeah. I watched those that videos as a father. I'm always I have crying. Cried. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm that not dude, a father, but yeah, I that cry. Dude's dope. Yeah, I cry. You know, yeah. Yeah. like yeah, yeah. so I I love bringing him up um, because I I really respect and love the way he excuse me engages with. Um, men and sure. and especially in america at least you mm -hmm, know mm -hmm. or people who've grown up in his context of black or the african-american experience whatever and for me as a you know child of korean immigrants for me like emotional intelligence or being aware and um present within my body you know of how i feel that's never been an exercise that i you know commonly did growing up so for me i think it's really important as an artist um, to be myself and uh, um, be unafraid of my emotions, you know? Uh, and I don't think it's just in the music, actually just as a person, as James Hahn, you know, how I show up with my relationships with my friends. Um, I am just vulnerable, you know, when I need to be, when, I'm, when it's welcomed, you know? And I try to be as honest and authentic as I can be what I've, because I've also done the flip side of it. Here's what I mean. Like, I, I use, I'm... I like to call myself a former people pleaser, you know, okay. and when I was in full on people pleasing mode, I almost never expressed my true feelings 
or how I, or my emotions ever to anybody. I was just always on the fence, always just moderate, always, um, I, I didn't really share much about myself because I didn't want to burden anybody, you know? Right, and this, right, this is right. like kind of where me as a Korean kind of comes into play, Yeah, you know? But what I realized, um, especially having lived in Atlanta for eight years and living in Maryland, I, I'm around non-Asians all the time, you know? Mm -hmm. And I think it was because I was around non-Asians, I started feeling this like disconnect, you know, with people you know, and I, as like the BLM stuff was happening too during COVID mm -hmm. after, I, I just have a, I, I was curious why I felt like sometimes I felt disconnected from people. And one of the reasons is because I never shared my emotions, never showed my feelings. And what I learned is um, sharing your feelings or being vulnerable, that is the pathway to connection with mm -hmm. other people, mm -hmm. you know, otherwise you're a robot mm -hmm. or, or at least people will see you as a robot, you know? And in America, as guys, we're we're taught, you know, keep it in, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. How much how much can we truly express? You know, sure, anger sure. is the only acceptable one, seemingly, you know. Um, and for me, I I feel like there were so many instances where I saw dudes who are just like us, who at like weddings, you know, like just are moved by something but never cry or never, you yeah. know, never express anything. And I just feel like they're just so wound up so tight. It's like, bro, you got to release that. You got to heal. You got to, you know, get yeah. to, like, and, and get yourself known by people, yeah. you know? Yeah. Uh, so were that's you like that. Were you like that as uh, an artist out the gate or did you shift into that somehow? Did you have like, speaking of the dude, was his name Jason Wilson is his name? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, did you have a figure like that in your life that, kind of encourage you to embrace your, you know, sort of your vulnerabilities or were you just always like this and you wanted no, to represent yourself? No, I wasn't yourself always like a, this. Okay. No, no, no. So what, what, what drew, or like what drove you to sort of become this type of a, uh, a like a creative, ex like, you know, expression? Mm. Yeah, I, I did my parents, my family, we just didn't grow up really expressing ourselves, you know? So I just thought, oh, mm. that's how I should be. You know, my, sure. I was just taught, hey, just keep your composure, which I still believe to a certain degree, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but it wasn't until I started doing, um, I was like in the Christian rap scene for a long time with a group called Amp. Um, oh. Yeah. So cool. Amp, we, me, Sam Ock, and this other guy, Chung, who goes by CL, not like 21. Yeah, yeah not 21. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> no, no, no. Chung, that's my, that's my young. You know, I had, you know, like doing Amp, and we also had a manager back then, Samuel Kim. Um, I think that was really the start of where I start to develop um, an awareness of um, of how I should move in the world. In many ways, like we discipled each other. You know, these dudes, they're my youngs. You know, other Sam, me and Sam are the same age and then Samuel and Context, CL. that means older brother. <laughs> yeah, oh, not yeah. every one of our <laughs> listeners yeah, are yeah, Korean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to non-Koreans non listening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. They know. Yeah. But yeah, um, I think that was a start for me to um, see how other believers and other men engaged with their emotions. Cause I think also being artists, we were artists and in the creative world, you have to be vulnerable. Otherwise you like, what are you, what are you creating? You mm -hmm. know, like it's really hard if you're right. not tapping into yeah. that vulnerable, scary uh, uh, sides that require courage. You're never, you're not going to know how to interact with emotions, with hardship, you know, in a way where you can actually, um, I don't know, be a healthy individual. Um, so that was the start for me. And I think uh, the many disappointments I've uh, encountered along the way, especially mm -hmm. being in the Christian music world for me as a rapper, and then um, shifting to more like general market now, which I've mm -hmm. done since like 2017. I've just kind of learned a lot about people. I've been outside, you know, and just meeting with other dudes um, and like my life circumstances, you know, like having to, uh, like be just go on dates and stuff and like meet people, and, you know, all these different things where I'm, I'm seeing how the world interacts with me as mm -hmm. a dude. Um, I think all these things have shaped the way I have seen, um, what am I trying to just have affected me. Yeah. 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 How old are you? I'm 33. 33. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. That's what's up, man. I want to dig a little bit deeper into that, but we'll get into that in a second. Yeah. Um, I definitely resonate with that. I think, um, you know, as we, you know, I think there's something about men um, 
I think women are just generally better at this than men in terms of just tapping into their vulnerable sides, like yeah. just throughout life. And I think men don't learn that uh, for the most part until they're like later years, you know, like as we get older and we're like, yo, it's not that serious, bro. You know, like it's okay to have emotions and not have it all together. So I definitely <laughs> feel that um, I'm, I'm kind of in that space too. I would say I'll just piggyback off of what you're saying. I think for me, the way that I feel like I'm showing up in the world right now, in this uh, 2024 version of myself, is um, that I am a whole person, even with my holes. You know what I'm saying? So like to be whole doesn't mean that you have it all figured out, and it doesn't mean that um, you're, you're perfected and by any means, I think you can have holes in your life. You can have areas that are weak. There are, there are areas that are going to be constant works in progress. And, um, you know, as men, we think the, the way that we have to show up is I have it all together. I have it all figured out. Um, you know, even my weaknesses are like, oh yes, like that's not that big of a deal though. Cause for the most part I'm good, but I think, you know, um, a big part of us showing up as a whole person is showing up with those holes and not that we are supposed to fill those holes by ourselves because we can't. Yeah. And, um, you know, like, and just, and not to get super, you know, cheesy Christian over here, but, you know, those holes that we have in our life, those holes can only be filled by Jesus, mm -hmm. you know? There's just like, I, I remember it was on the movie uh, Bruce Almighty. They said there's like, there's a, like a, a God-shaped hole in all of us or right. something like that, right? Yep, and it's like yep, yep. this this idea, I mean, it's cheesy, you know, but like only God can fill the, 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 the little crevices of those holes that we have. And that, th that still doesn't mean that it shows up pretty, you know, mm -hmm. and, and shows up all like, um, you know, packaged, you know what I mean? It's still messy and it's still like work in progress, but... You know, that's what sanctification is. You know, sanctification is a lifelong process. Like you're never going to be fully, perfectly sanctified until the day that we're with Jesus, right? But mm. I think where I'm learning now is, yeah, I am a whole person, even with my holes. And, and it's inviting God into those spaces where I'm like able to admit like, God, that's still, that's still, uh, yeah. A, a, what do you mean whole me. person? Can you unpack that a little like bit Like a more? complete person. Like I am a complete person, even with my flaws, even like worthy with my of hopes. respect, worthy of um, um, love. That's, yeah, it's interesting that you put it as respect. I, I wasn't thinking respect, but um, I, what I mean by like a complete person is that it, because I show up with flaws, I don't view myself as incomplete. I don't view myself mm. as like, man, I, I, I don't deserve to be here because of my uh. incomplete nature. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And, and there's, a, there's a two side, that's like a two sided coin. Like on one side, I feel incomplete, but on the other side of that, I am complete, but it's the same coin. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And so, like, I, I just love this. Someone gave me an analogy. It's like, you know, there's heads and tails, right? On the, but it's all a part of the same coin. It's not like the heads is one coin and the tails is another coin. It's all a part of the same thing. Right. And that's what makes it a whole coin, right? There's two sides of it. Mm -hmm. And so I think, you know, when I, look at the way that I'm kind of working on things in my own life. And I'm actually really proud, man. Like, you know, uh, we can even get into this deeper, you know, later, but as this year, you know, yeah, we're like well underway, man. Like, shoot, we're entering like the end of, or we're entering our first quarter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? First like, quarter, don't say that yet, man. Isn't that crazy? Like, don't say that yet, yeah, man. I know, but February, bro, it on. is right around the corner, That's you crazy. know what I mean? And it's like, <laughs> time just moves like that. Yeah. But, you know, I um, doesn't mean that I come into this year with, like, everything that I set out at the top of the year is, like, I'm just killing it. Like, there are things that are, that are doing well, mm -hmm. and there are things that I'm like, yeah, that, that's still not that tightened up yet. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I think all of that um, is okay. It's, it's a part of me being a complete person, even with mm. those, those uh, imperfections and those holes. So... Um, yeah, that's how I'm showing up. And I guess the thing that's driving that to kind of that, the part B of that question, um, man, it's, it's, um, it's ha learning how to have grace with myself, like having grace with that process. And the reason why I say that too is, you know, as Christians, you know, we're supposed to be reflections of who Jesus is, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jesus's character. 
and Jesus's character was full of grace and Jesus said, come as you are. Yep. And um, so if Jesus said, come as you are and Jesus was full of grace, then I ought to model that for myself. I should sh come as I am yeah. and I should show myself a lot of grace. And, it, and that's not to be mistaken for permission or license to just be and just continue on. Yeah. It's, it's a, you know, when, you, when you're truly vibing, um, not even just with God, I'll even take God out of the picture. When you're truly vibing with somebody, when you mm -hmm. truly love somebody, you're not going to just be like, yeah, well, you said like, it's all good. I could do whatever I want. You're going to care about what that other person yeah, wants. Respect their boundaries. You're, exactly. And care then you're going to yeah. want to serve, you know, what, what pleases them mm -hmm. and things like that. So, um, but yeah, put, you know, God into that seat. I'm like, Lord, you said, come as I am and you have so much grace for me, but you also said, be holy for I am holy, mm -hmm. but I can't do that without you either. No. Mm -hmm. So it is by only by the Holy Spirit that we even have the ability to pursue holiness. So it's, mm -hmm. it's just learning how to have that relationship. So it's just, yeah, just trying to mimic the, the character of Jesus. That's like what drives me to be able mm -hmm. to be okay with these sort of holes but still know that that makes me a complete person. Yeah. yeah. When, I, when you ask that question, because we always have a reflection question before we start yeah. uh, the show, and like, uh, you guys ve very much took it a totally different direction than me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah. Yeah. I was like, I should drink more water. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like, what's, uh, what's happening here? No, I think that was great, guys. Like, that really, uh, instead of going that direction, when I heard the question, for some reason for me, um, I was just thinking about how I show up in the eyes of others. And, mm. and so I just took it that way. And I, I immediately thought of um, today, now that I've done some good self-reflection and like, you know, I really understand the full character and identity of who I stand with in God. I was just thinking about my own spiritual gift. Like how, how do I show up the most to people is usually, um, I like to show up extremely warm and hospitable. Like I like to show up, um, where if you don't have a friend in the room, at least the warmest person in the room might be me. And I, I kind of want to show up that way. And so that's just the way I took it. And a lot of it is uh, hospitality to me is um, it's so big because it's that feeling of want, right? Like when you show up to something new, you don't want to feel unwanted because that's like one of the worst feelings in the world. Terrible. And, terrible. And I, and I know what that feels like. And it, it just makes you feel so lonely mm -hmm. instantly. Mm -hmm. It's like, dang, like I really, you know, I, you know, man, I'm unwanted here, right? And I guess like from that and what drives me in that is really my own experience for sure in understanding what that unwanted feeling is, but it's also those amazing memories of people that spoke into my life that made me feel so warm. And a lot of it um, and that all like sitting and reflecting going right back to the gift of hospitality. And that's mm. kind of, I wear that as like this badge of pride where I can go somewhere and really just own that. Even if I'm not the host, if I'm coming to a new space, isn't it's not about how can this space treat me? It's more of as a guest, as I'm coming in, I'm still gonna make the people around me feel like, mm -hmm. hey, are you comfortable coming into this space with me, even though I am a guest? Yeah. And so it's really just having that air of hospitality wherever I go. And that's just kind of like what, like immediately when you asked the question, I was just like, oh, this is probably what I show up as and I hope to embody that as much as I can. Mm, and that's yeah. what I was thinking. Yeah. yeah. That's good. I mean, you know, I, I love that's how you interpret the question. I mean, that's what's great about these questions. There's no right way to yeah, answer yeah, it. Yeah, 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 it's just sure, how yeah, do you sure. interpret that, yeah, you know? Yeah, and yeah. yeah, showing up is how you think you're showing up for yourself, how you mm -hmm. think other people perceive how you show up. Yeah. I mean, it's all legit, you know what I mean? And I think that's, that's kind of the beauty of these sort of, uh, like these reflection questions, because these are, the reason why we do this, not just to make it like some cheesy, whatever, this is how we start the show. I think, well, for one, you know, we have these meals and, you know, what food does, you know, speaking of hospitality, it's inviting. It invites for people sure, yeah. to congregate yeah. around a table for like, yo, th this, we all need food to live, right? Mm -hmm, this provides mm -hmm. nourishment, it provides like enjoyment, and then it's an invitation to like go somewhere. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, family meals are often like, you know, hey, how was your day? How was work? How was school? Yeah, and then, yeah. you know, when you catch up with a friend, it's like, yo, how's life? Mm -hmm. Like, what do you, what's mm -hmm. new? What's, what, what's exciting? You know, what are you struggling with? And so like, 
the 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 beauty of food is that it it, it takes you to a place where you can um, go as deep or as mm-hmm. you know fun or whatever as as you want. And I think yeah, like we want to um, be inviting, and and I think like I I totally see that with you, Kev. We were just talking about this yesterday on our drive in terms of like yeah. hospitality is something that without you even realizing. Not even just because you professionally do it. That's just kind of mm-hmm. who you are. Like you, you play host so well um, in any situation, you know, whether that be here Thanks, in our, our Thanks, Bible bro. study or, you know, at your, your restaurant. Yeah, I felt like, it when I first yeah. met you, for yeah, sure. Man. Yeah, yeah, I, I hope so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, you know, so I wanted to go a little bit deeper. So, you know, <clears> you went, um, you were talking about your music career and you kind of got your start in 2010 and then you kind mm-hmm. of, uh, you said you really went into it 2013, was it? Uh, well, from 2010 to 2016 16? is when I did the Christian rap group with yeah. AMP. Okay. Cool. And all the while, concurrently at 2013, I started doing my solo stuff. Oh, God, was that yeah. different from the AMP stuff? Um, It was more jazz hop okay. of what I was doing, but it was mm. still very much like for a Christian audience. Yeah. Um, And then in 2018, 19, I realized, oh, this... This is not the audience I actually want to speak to. That's what I wanted to touch on. Yeah. Um, what what prompted that switch of yeah. I mean, initially you're like, I want to talk to the quote unquote Christian audience. So I yeah. would imagine lyrically and things, you know, were very conscious about let me talk about whatever it means to be walking yeah. with God. For sure, for sure. And then and then there was a moment that you felt like, hmm, I might, I might not really be as i don't want to say passionate but you were just like i, I kind of want to switch it up for whatever yeah, yeah, reason yeah. Mm-hmm. um can you talk about absolutely that and what that even means yeah so for me i would say um some of my um uh, i guess superpower or strengths that people have said i have um is community building and um i guess just being authentic and maybe e- uh evangelist type of gifting or whatever in the sense where if i'm really passionate about something i want other people to know about it you know if right. i find a barber sure, yeah you're you an know, evangelist yeah, yeah that's exactly i'll, I'll what bring it you is. i'll Great. bring you business yeah, you know? yeah i'm just yeah. kind of wired that way sure. um so in light of that i i didn't grow up as a christian you know mm. um i started going in high school and um I, I my friend invited me to a church meeting and i became a believer um gave my life to christ in about 11th grade Sure. And yeah, yeah, yeah. so for me, I'm used to, I'm not used to being around church people. You know, I didn't grow up at church functions, you know, the way I'm wired. I'm just, you know, like I, I don't, I think church is sometimes kind of a funny place. Cause I feel like it's not the real world sometimes, you know, sure. that's how yeah. I entered, yep. you yep. know, and it's a big yep. bubble. Um, I say all that because when I was doing the Christian music, we were going to so many churches, um, so many revivals, you know, we were in Korea, Australia, you know, we went all over the place for these like big events and we were around basically other believers, which is so cool. And I met a lot of great pastors. I, that's how I met Will, Will Chung. Okay, like yeah. I know him from oh, like, years back because nice. I met him at like one of those shows we were performing yeah. at. I actually met a lot of pastors because of that. That's Makes great. Sense. And, and yeah. I, yeah. And I, yeah. and I loved my time. Um, however, I, the way I grew up, like I said, I, I wanted to always bring like my, my, my homies, you know, all my close friends to church. Cause I wanted them to, to experience the, the, the joy that I felt yeah. knowing Jesus. You know, yeah. I wanted them, I found a way out of the matrix and it's like, Hey bro, come on. Like you gotta go with me too. Yeah. Um, yeah. and I have that heart even till today. So, yeah. but I found myself not being able to do that when I was just only around in the bubble type Christians, mm. you know? And so that's kind of the whole point. I was like, I would perform at churches all the time and it's great. I love those conversations. But sometimes we would have like uh, shows at like random bars or a random venue right. and people who didn't even know we were Christian, you know, or I didn't know that I was Christian would come up to me and we just have conversations, you know, fans or even people that I work with. And it's something that Rick touched upon, lyrics. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, it's the people that you work with and people who are probably so far from God, you know, mm-hmm. people who don't want anything to do with religion, anything uh, to do yeah. with Jesus. Those are the people that I find myself found myself around, mm-hmm. um, and I wanted to be around these people more because, you know, the conversations you have, even in the dance world or even the restaurant, you know, industry people, when it's not just based around religion, you have those real conversations all the time because you'll share right. a meal, perfect place for connection. Mm-hmm, you know, right. maybe you'll have, 
beverages together. You know, it don't matter. Whatever. If you're finding ways to connect, you're you're there's always space for faith to come up. Mm -hmm. People will, you know, eventually if you're such a warm person, you know, or or like always have integrity, always kind to people, eventually you're going to have conversations. I always did at least right, right. about like what, you know, why is this happening, you know? Like I was in New York, I was like partying with some like friends and whatever and you know, it was late in the night and you know, you just have conversations all the time. Yeah. And I'm like, I can't believe I'm talking about Jesus right now, mm -hmm. 3 a.m. This is insane, you know? Mm -hmm. sure, but yeah. for me, like, I don't, I, I don't think it's a strange thing, you know, to be yeah. outside the walls of a church and still talk about the teachings of Jesus, right. you know, a way to um, live, get out of the matrix, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's up, stewards? We just want to take a moment to thank all the amazing supporters of Good Service. Thank you guys so much. We have exciting news today. We officially have a Patreon. If you join the Patreon today as a subscriber, you get exclusive content every single week. From Q&As, solo reflection rounds, extended episodes, vlogs, and much, much more. You're going to find all of that exclusively on our Patreon. You can log on to patreon.com slash goodservicepodcast. Thank y'all so much. God bless y'all. Back to the episode. Hey. Do you feel that, like, lyrically, you know, you were saying you're making very, you even called it Christian music, Christian hip-hop yeah. or whatever you want to call it. And Absolutely. Then, um, I mean, some of your recent stuff is not that. <laughs> it's not. You know? No, no, no. Um, so, <laughs> they ain't going to like my <laughs> So how do, how do you even sort of, um, how do you view that? Like, how do you view changing your lyrical content? I mean, you said, and I believe you when you say this, you're, you're an authentic person. You, mm -hmm. you, you talk about the things that are actually, you know, relevant to your life or things that you are thinking about. Mm hmm and, you know, we've had many conversations even just on this show where we talk to various artists who talk about this, right? They for sure, for sure. Lyrical content, you know, like, you know, using spicy language, you know what I'm for saying? Sure. Things I like get that. It. Hey, I know um, Ruslan was on here too. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Ruslan, he texted me, he's like, mm, cursing now, huh? <laughs> I was like, hey, bro, a lot happened to me, man. I'll explain mm. to you later. You know, he's still, yeah. it's all love there. <laughs> so, no, I mean, like, not, I mean, not to put you out on the spot like that. No, no, that. please do. Put me on the spot. But, but I mean, yeah. we, we like to just be real here and yeah. there's no judgment here. And, you know, no, I think people's, isn't. people's journey is their journey. And, um, and, and, you know, I think for you to be in a place like this, you're not alone. You know what I'm yeah. saying? There's someone out there who's like, whoa, like I, I kind of get this or I kind of yeah. been feeling that. Mm -hmm. And, 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 you know, we, we're not over here. We never preach like, yo, this is like gospel truth. And that's, yeah, thus yeah, saith yeah, the yeah, Lord, yeah. anything. We're just like, <laughs> hey, this is just a, a take. And, yeah. you know, if anything, we will, we'll pray for each other. Yeah. And like, like Lord, just like continue to sanctify us. But, you know, if you are in a space where you're kind of like, man, like I, you know, I feel this and, you know, this language is the best way for me to express myself in this. Like, how do you, I don't want to say justify it, but like, how do you kind of, how do I sleep at night? Yeah. Or like, how, <laughs> like how, how, how was that? Like something where you're like, yeah, I'm down for, for sure. This. For you sure. Know what I mean, well, I think more context, I talked about it on um, David So's podcast. So like about last year, 2022, um, I got a divorce. I was married for wow. five years. Okay. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So from that point on, like, I mean, a main reason why the songs that I brought, that I came out with, you know, all of last year and the way I'm creating now is me healing and recovering and expressing the betrayal pain that I felt, you know? So there is like an artistic reason why I'm doing it. It's not just cause like, I just want to sw switch it up just out of the blue. You know, a lot of people didn't know that at first, but I'm also still an artist. So I didn't want to just like tell people right off the bat. I wanted to create some sort of narrative you know just to try to explain what was going on sure um so you know a lot of my fans uh you know the really probably religious ones or the really uh you know wanted just christian music they were probably upset with me and stopped listening and there was like this uh on one of my songs uh, uh there was like a whole thread where people were like why is he cursing now They're like, what happened to him and it's, you know i can't believe sam ock who's my best friend mm -hmm. he uh i can't believe he's working with him and how can all these Christian artists support him? Like he's clearly not with the Lord, you know? And I'm like, dang, mm. like just stick with it, man. There's a whole story. I'm not going to tell you out the gate. I got a divorce, you know, like, let right. me get into song five to tell right. you what's happening. Build yeah. it up. You know, yeah. I'm still, this is still, you know, it's my music. It's my art. Yeah. I, you know, I yeah. want to tell a good story. Sure. 
um even though mm. it's at my expense yeah but um you know like that whole there were a lot of people speculating and um you know they had a whole thread and then i think i came out with my song end of an error um and end of an error end of an error oh oh okay okay yeah yeah that's, right. that's right. the name I of my see album the lyricist in you. Uh, yeah. yeah 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 okay <laughs> okay yeah, yeah, yeah. the yeah. album's coming yeah. out yeah in a few months but uh um, wow. when that came out that the person who started that youtube thread on my video deleted the whole thing wow yeah yeah i mean i didn't i didn't delete it and i like i wish i took screen grabs because like the speculations were kind of mean they were like this sure. brother turn his back on the lord and i'm like sure. man yeah you don't even i'm going to church man like yeah. you know mm, yeah. for a while i didn't during covid you know because of my ex sure variety of things she's sure, no longer yeah. a believer and mm -hmm. that was a big reason why she wanted to split you know mm -hmm. like and you know we can get into it maybe not but like yeah there are a plethora of reasons why yeah. you know i might have been the way i was but like the first thing as soon as i got the divorce first thing i did was go back to church you know mm -hmm. like the first thing i did was yeah. and i and i always was still in um close communication and communion with my brothers you know yeah. sam yeah. hawk my best friend believer pastors who are my best like youngs you know or like yeah. older yeah. brother figures yeah constantly in my life mm -hmm. counseling sure. me even before the official break you know what wow. i'm saying yeah, yeah, sure yeah. so like sure. i've i've never stopped being a christian Mm. uh it's yeah. just my expression in the public sphere changed yeah. and um you know like i i was okay with that change one because i didn't grow up christian so for me losing this christian uh image it's not really for me it's not like a huge loss yeah you know I, that sounds kind of crazy but like i you know i don't my parents aren't pastors you know they're they own a dry cleaners you know yeah. like i'm more of blue collar i'm kind of more of a like work wear gritty you mm -hmm, know like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know go get it type of guy mm -hmm, you know yeah. no frills if you're a little too posh i don't like you you know it's like <laughs> middle class work you know working class type vibe that's how yeah. i grew up yeah. you know yeah. so yeah. Yeah. uh i was like okay well you know these really religious if you really want religious music go to lecrae you know yeah. go to kirk franklin i don't think i can provide that for you because i i want to be an artist i want to express what's true in my life yeah. and god has been faithful in my life through the ups and downs yeah. and it doesn't look pretty and if you want something nicely gift wrapped then you know go to lecrae sure. yeah. <laughs> like they got it right. like i have um by the way because i i don't have a lot of context of your whole story at all mm -hmm. so like i appreciate you kind of digging deep through all of that and one of the thing that one of the things that always troubles me whenever i see anything on social media is like this witch hunt of let's find the christian that falls like oh, they yeah, are yeah, yeah. bro they are oh, on yeah. it you know what i'm saying like they yeah, yeah, yeah. like hey, that's Christians just <laughs> be the ruthless ones bro <laughs> <laughs> so like and that's the thing is the the whole reputation behind christians and how non-followers of jesus are viewing us they're watching all of it they watch the infighting they mm -hmm. watch the i get more judgment for a christian today than a non-christian that that's like real you yeah. know from people that love god mm -hmm. and so i love that you express that because my my heart just goes out to your whole human story mm -hmm. right because you're just living in existence it just happens to be public mm -hmm. because that's the part of artistry today like it's not like back in the day where artists were i don't even know what it looked like back in the day honestly i was just gonna make something up but i was, <laughs> I was like let's not do that but um you could probably curate your image a little more because there was less access to humans True. yeah sure social yeah. media yeah. just kind of takes yeah. all away every wall yeah yeah the, the every stage wall. and yeah, backstage yeah. the line gets mm -hmm. further further drawn back where there's yeah. no backstage anymore yeah there is no more backstage yeah. and because of that i guess um that's just one thing i definitely want to respect and highlight what you share because I, I, for those listeners, please wait to hear either the whole story or don't read all the comments and believe it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why, I, that's why I kind of share the story of like the dude, he, it was like a 20 comment thread. He just deleted it. Cause right. like, you know, he probably felt bad cause he's like, Oh, sure. you know, but as we're talking about, uh, grace, you know, yeah. as I mentioned earlier, right. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. what drives what drives us to be gracious to ourselves is because Jesus is gracious to us first. Sure. And, and I'm not even trying to, you know, go against all the, the Christian criticism. I get where it's coming from. It's valid. It, it's I coming understand. from a place. Wait, wait, what? I thought you were representing Jesus in this way. For sure. And then now it's not. 
you know, and then it makes me feel some type of way. And that's OK, too. It's OK for you to feel some type of way. Like it probably 100%. should make you feel some type of way. Yeah. You, you probably you're right to question like, huh, I wonder mm -hmm. if this guy's all right. Like mm -hmm. that's like a natural response. Right. That's like percent, when yeah. I'm used to getting this from you, now I'm getting something else. Mm -hmm. um, I think the reaction to like questioning, questioning is fine. Mm. But I think to, you know, be public with your questioning, maybe second think that, you know, like, do you really need to but get you know, up in the comments? But, you know, even that, even with that, I'll, I'll put it this way, like, um, what takes, what has to happen in a person's life for them to take the energy to post a public comment like that and, and almost try to scapegoat somebody? Right. For me, I, I don't know, maybe it was the Holy Spirit speaking to me. Like, I had compassion on the dude who put the thread, you know, because, like, I didn't retaliate at all because I was like, you know what? maybe things at home ain't too sweet for him, you mm -hmm. know? And this is the only place he has control. I don't sure. know him, right? Sure. you know? And I don't presume to know him. So sure. I'm going to give him some grace too, even though he's being very, very mean, sure. yeah, yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah, in the yeah, same yeah. way that I would hope that people would have kindness and grace to me, yeah. you know, and, and uh, compassion, I, I extended to him. And, you know, like it didn't escalate. It was just... It's just kind of like other people are just talking yeah. amongst themselves. I, I think there's <laughs> which so, happens on our threads all the time. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure y'all, you know, people be fighting in the comments. And I just fighting look at the it comments, and I'm like, man. I'm not even jumping in because there's no point, you know. There's yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Well, so I mean, there are yeah. a couple things to that though. I think, you know, when you um, can recognize someone's responding to something that you either did or said, and they disagree with it, and um, sure, there's a lot of layers to some maybe something that they're going through. And then you're obviously going through something when that's why you put it out in that way. And then there's this like a bunch of layers in between. And, um, you know, I want to go back to what you were talking about in terms of this, like, you know, perfect Christian packaging kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I, I, I hate that, you know, I mean, <laughs> I, I hate that there is even this. You should hate it. There's, a, hate there's it. supposed to be a perfect Christian packaging. Yeah. What, what Christian Man. is perfectly packaged? Zero. Amen. Nobody. Literally nobody, yeah. you know? And so. The, the fact that we think that like, oh man, Christians, we need to show up in the world. Like we got, like, we don't, we don't have bad days. We don't cuss. Mm -hmm. We don't sin. Yeah. You know, oh, that's, that's the BC days. Like I used to do that before <laughs> Jesus, but now that I got Jesus, I don't get angry. I don't, you know, no, 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 uh, you know, unwholesome word slips out of my mouth. That's good. Yeah. That's you know good. what I'm saying? Like, yeah, no, man. that's not the case at all. And of course, like to each their own. Yeah. Like be responsible for what you put out there. For sure. But I, I, I'm not in here. I'm just going to put the disclaimer out there. I'm not saying I like I'm waving this flag, but I also don't think that as Christians, we got to keep our sins in private. Mm -hmm. And I'm also not saying go broadcast it to the world. Like, hey, yeah. guys, I'm yeah, struggling. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. here's what I'm going to tell the world. I sure. think be responsible, you know, because as believers, right? Like, you know, one of the fruit of the spirit is self-control, mm -hmm. you know, and, and be wise, be discerning. Is it the most wise thing to just go, you know, broadcast your struggles to the world? And then, you know, and then trauma I, bond with the world. <laughs> right, right. That's a real thing. That's a real thing. But I also think, um, and, I, and I'm not even trying to like come at you about the artist thing, because, you know, it could also be like, well, I'm just an artist. I'm just expressing myself. I'm like, well, okay, that's cool. You can do that. Oh, uh, yeah. But, yeah, but, yeah. But, but I'll say be responsible in knowing that you're now inviting, you're, you're opening up yourself to be a target. For sure. And so then don't be surprised when people come at you and, and start throwing darts because you yeah. just opened yourself up to be a target. For sure, for sure. And that's, I mean, we do that too. I mean, like people come at us in the comments yeah. and we may say some things in here that people don't agree with. <laughs> and we're not here to say we are the, the, the Christian stance on everything. Like this yeah. is just what we've experienced. Yeah. And we are also like being saying, I really love this conversation because like that's the whole premise of the show is mm -hmm. just to have, just authentic conversation, mm -hmm. right? So like there isn't any like agenda here. There isn't anything like that. We're just talking. Yeah. And I love that our viewers could listen. And I just hope that some of the story like translates to go, man, these are just more brothers that struggle with what we struggle through, which mm -hmm. is great. I kind of wanted to segue a little bit because, you know, we know that um, you went from coast to coast. Yeah. You've been through a lot of change, honestly speaking. Yeah, and now right. I'm like learning this. I'm like, oh my Connecting gosh. the dots. Yeah, I'm like, dude, this, yeah, this dude's been through so much. Yeah. Um, as you're coming, I guess, to the epicenter of like the biggest entertainment capitals of the world, as they say, mm -hmm. there's a few of those, but this is one of them, right? Yeah. And you've come from this background where you're grounded in Christ, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. 
and you're now stepping into this entertainment like i'm sure i'm sure it's like glittering bright lights everywhere sometimes and there's so many opportunities there's so many friendships mm -hmm. what are some uh i guess guidelines that you love to speak on now you've been here for how many years now uh for, in, in, in LA? la i guess well yeah. year i i would only been here since last oh, year oh got it in, yeah, in, yeah, yeah. yeah i've been coming okay, to okay, la yeah. since 2013 though oh okay so how yeah, about yeah, yeah. how about some maybe i would love for some listeners that want to come to la you've been here yeah. a year now yeah um what are some like early tips as someone that's like grounded in faith mm -hmm. you're about to walk into what you know what i mean i love yeah. to hear yeah oh huh, fascinating um i think for me i'm also older i'm 33 yeah. You know, so you're not that old, bro. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what I meant Keep to it, say, you're young, yeah, you're young, yeah, you're yeah, young, yeah. Young. That's true. Uh, being young is a mindset, anyway. Um, <laughs> that it is. Yeah. That it is. Yo, because you could be 21 and you could be old. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You know, I met them. I met yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. They're I know out there. Like them. Yep, um, yep. I think for me, um, having having people I can just be brutally honest with. Mm. You know, people in my inner circle. Um, I have people like that who don't live here, you know, but I'm, I'm open to meeting people and just sharing myself, you know, like, like my emotions, my feelings, who I am with folks. And I, you just have to know, like people are busy and they don't, they're not thinking about you really that much. You know, people aren't really thinking about you that much. You're not really that important, you know? So mm -hmm. if somebody don't, don't respond to you, it's not cause they hate you. It's probably cause there's something <laughs> there more, more important or something more That's present. Good. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know, it's not That's cause good. That's at least that's how i interpret it it's like hey you know like d don't be so like have have everything with kind of like a loose grip on it don't like yep. just be so like yep. you know mm -hmm. trying to hold on to everything so tight um and for me like relationship building is is frequency you know like do you have like is there a way for you to meet with somebody frequently or is there like a sketch that's why for me like plugging into a church great for me you know every sunday i'll see them at least you know um, or every small group meeting mm -hmm. or Bible study or whatever, or, you know, I do morning walks with my friends, you know, like that, like just having regular rhythms or like going to a gym, seeing the same people, you know, like setting up places like, like things like that routine, um, and like third places. Um, I think that's pretty important for you to find if you're able to, you know, and I, mm -hmm. I have the freedom to do so, mm -hmm. you know, so I'm not like everybody else, but, um, you know, if you can't do that, I think, um, I mean, I have a day job too. So for me, uh, my money, my money is not tied in only what I do with music. Mm -hmm. You know, mm. it's, I have my day job doing like remote, um, it work and that actually allows me to be an artist and be free. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm able to, I don't need to make the music that I feel like I have to anymore. Wow, you know? that's good. This is that was that was really good. Yeah, because everybody always thinks, you know what? It's this or nothing. No safety net. Fall, free fall into nothingness. Struggle. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I mean they can yeah, struggle. Yeah. They, they can I, do that. I did yeah. that, you know, yeah. in Atlanta. But yeah. um, I don't know. It, for me, it, it ain't that cute to be a broke <laughs> musician. I don't know, but <laughs> I get it. I get the hunger. Totally. You know, be, yeah. but I think the hunger also came from, I don't know, not having anything around me. You know, I had to learn with me and literally Sam Ock, yeah, you know, yeah. and my guys. I think that's really important, especially for somebody who's here in LA that, um, you know, somehow people think that once you make the move to LA, then, then your career just launches. You never mm. have to look back and you never have to have a plan B or a side hustle. It's just like, nah, man, I'm an actor. So you're like, you're in movies now and you're, you know, I'm a, I'm a recording artist. Now you're making albums, you got a record deal. And it's, you just, people, tend to think that Hollywood is this place where once you make mm. the move here, then like the career launches and there's nothing that you have to worry about. Yeah. I think it's important that, um, and, and thank you for that, like the, the humility and transparency, be like, yo man, I got a day job. This is how I support myself, you yeah. know? And I think that one, that's just a responsible way to be as an adult, right? You know, yeah. um, and that doesn't mean that you have to give up on the dream. And it's just, you said it gives you actually more freedom to create freely without yeah. thinking that like, oh man, in order yeah. for me to like make my money, powerful. I gotta make this type of music because otherwise I'm gonna lose my listeners and lose my followers. And, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you're trying to keep up with the Joneses and keep up with like pe what people expect from you mm. versus like 
you if you want you could take a break from the music thing because that's not what you're living off of that and it, it gives you mo in inspiration you when, when you live yeah wow when i was just an artist in atlanta i did that for like two three years my inspiration I, it became kind of dry honestly because i'm always just in the studio always amongst other artists yeah you know but when i i worked at apple i got a day job because i was tired of being broke yeah um i worked at apple and i got so much inspiration because i'm talking to people you people go. just <laughs> you know people yeah. are peopling so yeah. you know when you meet people you're like oh wow that's good. That's, okay that's maybe good. my life ain't too crazy right yeah, now yeah you know big, that's man. That's, yeah. Big. that's good yeah i think that's that's the stuff man you gotta oftentimes get yourself out of your bubble and your own echo chamber for you to experience something new to give you mm -hmm. something new i mean yeah if you're always like you said if i'm in the studio grinding it out with the same people like kind of like talking about the same things and it's yeah. just groundhog day every day then you know yeah. how are you going to get anything new yeah. and you know when you can kind of like almost remove yourself from that and give yourself that space to breathe and then mm -hmm. let creativity just come to you you yeah. know and then yeah like you can take a day off where you're like cool I've, i got my money so i don't necessarily have to go clock in today you can go hang out you know what i mean go to the yeah. beach you can go hang out yeah. with friends and then just get inspired so i think there's a lot nature's inspiring just being outside like even a little walk here so inspiring just yeah, to man. like breathe and you know just <laughs> be thankful for the to be alive and yeah, breathe yeah. crispy air you know that's yeah. what it is nice. man so these days um what's what's kind of your your focus is you know i mean like going into 2024 and you know kind of year one in la like yeah. how has it been treating you slash how are you um setting your sail for this year ahead yeah um for me i realized putting out singles uh just like was draining for me um i'm currently putting out singles because it's for an album and i i'm choosing to make to, this year uh to be a year where i just um fortify who i am uh fortify within myself what i mean by that is you know be okay with being this kind of artist this kind of person for example i realized i'm actually quite sensitive you know and i think this is uh, through therapy you know through a lot of healing um, making lots of mistakes last year, you know, with people just making, I was just hurt, you know, just being, being a person, you know, just living. And I think through that, I learned a lot by myself, you know, I'm not perfect. I didn't do a great job, but God still got me, you know, and uh, I think I want to spend this year, I guess, loving myself. Mm -hmm. um sounds cliche but it's true like i want to love that i'm built this way i am sensitive i am into sports you know i am i love chess or you know i love just making albums mm -hmm. i love um creating and collaborating in a group setting you know with like-minded people i like you know that's that's kind of the goal i have this year you know just be able to be like yep i am this person Oh, yep. I am actually, I don't need to drink all the time. You know, I mm -hmm. want to just play board games. Yeah, you know, yeah, I'm yeah. just like little things like that. You know, yeah. I've, I already kind of know these things about me, but I just want to take this year to be like, this is who I am and, and love it. Yeah. That sounds very mature. <laughs> yes. I love it. Yes. No, I love it. Because I, I operate that. best when yeah. I'm in a state of peace. Yeah. And not the chaos that I was yes. in. The yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Question, quick question on that too is um, I loved how you, um, you know, connected with us and you're, you're on the pod today. Like what, was that part of the journey? That, is that why you wanted to be on another show? Like how, mm -hmm. how did it, what drove you to the pod? I was just curious myself. Yeah, well for me, um, I think it goes into what I was mentioning earlier. I feel like even through all the years, I didn't, haven't let my audience know who I am as a person. Cause I just thought mm -hmm. I could just put it all in the music and that should be good enough. But what I've realized is, you know, especially with so many artists and so much music out in this day, yeah. you know, like there are a lot of people that I guess kind of sound like me. So like, which better option do they have if they constantly <laughs> see, you know, yeah, 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 option, not me, you know, right. constantly putting out content. I know it sounds no, like no, kind of- I love it, man. Yeah, it's so I just, real, bro. Like, I love that. Dude. Yeah. I just want to like show my face more and, and like, um, yeah, it's two pronged. Show my face more I and like that. find a place to just express who I am. And yeah. two, like, just connect with other believers, you know, like, cause that's Amen, a part of myself man. that I lost, you know, during the whole divorce process, you know, and like the latter part of uh, the relationship. So, mm. you know, it's just like, 
um, putting more time into my church that I go to, helping with the youth. You know, that's like, oh, that's another thing. Like I, like when I was in Maryland, back when I lived there, like I helped with like the high school, you know, high school youth group. And that's just how I'm built. I enjoy like talking and engaging with like specifically like 12th graders, you know, people who are just, or college students just mm -hmm. about to get into the world. Mm -hmm. who are sure. asking like these very nuanced, tough questions, yeah. you know? I just find myself I loving mean, honestly, those you, conversations. You would be such a good big bro to a lot of these kids. Absolutely. I could just feel that. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. yeah, thanks. For real, man. I appreciate that. No, really. Yeah. I yeah, mean yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I mean that. And I think like even where that's coming from is because you've experienced life. You've, you've you know, kind of been through the, the stuff that you're like, yeah, these are some really good times. And then you've been through some really tough times. Mm. And you've even like self-pointed out some of the mistakes that you made. And, yeah. you know, Bro, that life doesn't get any more real than that. And um, mm. you know, that's a part of your testimony and that mm -hmm. is a part of the story that God has allowed you to live through that, you know, he is going to redeem and mm -hmm. he's already redeeming and through this conversation and through just, you know, how you move on from here, like that's all a part of your story. Yeah. And um I think, you know, as you're talking about um yeah, just a lot of the the open um, struggle that you're you're not afraid to have, and you, I think you're talking about you know like oh man like the perceived version of yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Like oh you know as an artist, people know me for my music, and they probably think that's all I am, and so you're like no, I want to come and actually talk about my story, you know? Mm -hmm. the, yeah, like you said, there's so much you can get from an artistic piece, yeah, and then the rest of it comes from actually meeting the person yeah. and actually hearing their story, <laughs> yeah. actually letting them talk, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, and yeah. not just judging them by this three minute and 30 seconds of whatever, like, okay, that's exactly who you are packaged in these lyrics. Yeah. You know? and I think there's something really big about what you're, you know, pointing out. And, um, you know, if, if we could just encourage you, man, um, dude, it, t it takes a lot of courage and um, boldness and and you talked about like self love and there's something that you know I've recently learned um and just been learning um you know where it says like you know to to love yourself or to love your neighbor like you love yourself mm. but you don't you don't know it says like you love yourself so therefore you need to love yourself first to know how to love your neighbor Correct. well it's not saying love you know yourself you know or like it's like you gotta know it says love your neighbor like you love yourself so if yeah. you don't even know how you love yourself then how do you love your neighbor well yeah so i think there's something really powerful about you recognizing like hey it's, it's not to sound cheesy or cliche it's not i mean well maybe it is cliche because cliches are there because they're most often true yeah, <laughs> you yeah, know? yeah that's yeah, why yeah. they're cliche people say it all the that's time right. yeah and yeah, so yeah. i i think with you you know sort of recognizing all right it's time for me to really love myself and whatever bro like you said yeah maybe it's not drinking every day maybe it is pulling up a playing a game of chess or you know what i'm saying maybe it is like currently know, playing sudoku a lot there you oh. go <clears throat> right yeah and but you know i think even with that the honesty of who you are even if like you can be like oh man if i say that man i might come come off as like a dork or whatever like who cares like, oh, I've acknowledged I am quite there you go. nerd dorky. Like I, I <laughs> no, am kind of like towards that. that man. Yeah, I am. <laughs> you know? Yo, yeah. right now, yeah. dorks are winning. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get up on my dork game, dude. Bro, yeah. to be I, honest have, with I have a story about that, dude. This is like so unfortunate, actually. So like, I was quite a nerd in um, high school. Okay, I was in the chess team. I mean, national chess champion, part of the team. Oh, yeah, literally four yeah. chess. I was gonna yeah. ask bro, about this, that. And I'm also yeah. a bite a horse. You know, on the okay, Chinese yeah. zodiac. Uh -huh. But anyway. <laughs> look so i was super That's nerdy into anime look, I even, this was honestly this little yeah, tie pikachu, little pikachu Nike right here bro, come on. okay so <laughs> i was super nerdy we're in chess club okay and i'm just hanging out with my friend we're vibing and then yeah, yeah. i was just i was like talking to my friend and i'm like dude we need to get like girlfriends like we can't just keep doing this <laughs> you know uh -huh. and then i'm looking to my right and there's like a senior or junior senior dude you know older than us who's hanging out with us and i'm like bro we're gonna end up like him. Why is he hanging out with us? Doesn't he have a girlfriend? Like this is yeah, what I'm yeah, thinking in yeah, high school, yeah, yeah, and yeah. it's so tragic. I stopped. I intentionally stopped being a nerd and leaned more into the sports side of things, so that I can uh, get a girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> Give me likely. Did that work if, out for you? 
Yeah. I mean, a little bit. You know, yeah. I I didn't he, hit my growth spurt till he senior year. He buried his dork dumb, bro. And no, seriously. Him, if I had grown up now, yeah, I'd be coming. a super nerd right yeah, now. I'd yeah. be so into anime. It'd be crazy. <laughs> hey, seriously. anime's tight, bro. No, no, it is. And I oh, tight now. Tight now. Tight now. I'm saying if was I was, it, was it not tight ever? Oh, I, nah. I thought Dragon not Ball was always dope. Okay, Dragon Ball Z was cool. That definitely was cool, but it wasn't like. It will, I don't know. Maybe it's different in California. Did you grow up in California? Yeah. It's different in California. Remember, there aren't... I, I grew true. up in Maryland. Okay. That's true. Oh, you there know, weren't a lot I, of I was around In Maryland, I was around a lot of black and Latinas. Yeah, yeah Latinos yeah. and, yeah. you know, some white folks. And Atlanta, you know, Atlanta is what it is. There's definitely yeah. Asians and Koreans wherever I lived, but... Yeah, yeah. It just isn't like California, yeah. man. California's different. Apparently, right. some people grew up yeah. here... And it was cool to bring kimchi and yeah, yeah, you yeah, know yeah, Korean yeah. food to true, lunch. Right. That right. blows my mind. Yeah. True, yeah. true. Yeah. Well, um, you also have a very interesting name. Your 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 alias Uzuhan. Oh yeah, yeah. Can you explain what Uzuhan means? Oh yeah, yeah. So Uzuhan is uh, it means excellence in Korean. Mm. So I was Uzuhan, Uzuhada. I just got mm. that. Mm. Yeah. How I found it though, I'm not that good at Korean. I was uh, I was trying to think of a new name because I used to go by Jay Han. Mm -hmm. and show for james hahn Got very it. creative so creative <laughs> thank you j cole like it was because of j cole right? yeah, 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 yeah. but um i was like i was like trying to think of like a like a cool household name you yeah, know yeah. i was like man kanye west how could i think of a drake like oh all the cool names are so taken you know yeah, gold yeah, yeah. link so i went on google translate and i was like all right let me just try to find the korean words of like all the word you know so i typed in all the typical words you would yeah handsome you know, uh, the uh, best, sure, Okay. Sure, you know, sure, like sure, uh, yeah. everything. I typed in and I was like, I was That's tapped so out and I was funny. like, whatever, excellence. I type in Google Translate, it spits out Uzuhan. My last name's Han. I'm yeah. like, oh, it's kind of tight. But if I romanize it, it's U-S-U-H-A-N. So I was like, ah, change the S to a Z. There you go. I, you for, know? I thought for some reason that was your Korean name. No, you, no, you a lot of people do. Korean yeah, yeah, yeah. Name. I understand, yeah. but it's not. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, that's dope. It's dope. That's dope. That's yeah, dope. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, dude, um, so you, we, we, we call this show Good Service. You know, we, we hit up these dope restaurants that provide good meals and good service, which ultimately, you know, creates a good experience that makes you keep wanting to come back. Yeah. And um, so with that, those words, good service, good and service, they can mean different things to different people. So what does good service mean to you? Ooh. Hmm. Uh, I mean, I just think of like food industry, I guess. Uh, but for you. If, oh, if, for me? If you, if you provide. Were to provide good service. If you have it, uh, like I, as James, I provide a good service. What does that mean? Um, no frills, promptness, um, efficiency. <laughs> Uh, um, making my yes is a yes, delivering on what I say I do. Mm. Yeah. That's big. That's big. Yeah. That's also biblical. <laughs> Absolutely. Amen. Yeah. Amen. That's, Amen. Biblical. That's, yeah. cool. Amen. That's, That's very cool. Uh, bro, thank you so much for coming through. And um, you know, I, I just want to thank you for your level of transparency. You didn't have to come that real, and uh, you know, we don't have any plans as we come into these conversations. You know, it's always we just pray like for the Holy Spirit to like just drive yeah. it, you know, and yeah. Yeah. whatever conversation needs to come out, let it come out. And, you know, this is a place of safety and healing. And, um, you know, we encourage our listeners too, man, like we're inviting you into these spaces where we get to be intimate mm, and, yep, um, right. you know, open up these, you know, conversations where we're just going to be um, as authentic as we can. And, you know, that may be uh, imperfect, that may have a lot of, um, you know, people may have opinions about it, which everybody's entitled to, but, you know, just- At least to, they feel something though. They feel something, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And um, so, yeah, man, thank you so much for coming through and just um, just blessing us with your time. And um, what is a way that uh, we here or our listening audience can serve you in this time? Um, interesting, I mean, other than like watch my music videos <laughs> where can they find it i mean uh, plug, it's, yeah plug, plug, all it your away, socials. plug it away it's on my youtube channel uzuhan music you can find me everywhere um i don't know i think it's uh um honestly i yeah people could pray for me i think that would be really nice um yeah. and two uh yeah i'm still trying to figure things out for how i want to move forward you know show up to my shows if i have any concerts in LA, hey. you, know, you got a I'm website where people can find all yeah, that. Yeah, uzuhanmusic.com. There you go. That's all it there. is. There yeah. it is. It'll be there. It'll yeah, be there. We'll link all the stuff. 
Absolutely. Well, bro, thank you so much for coming through, man. We'll definitely Thanks. stay linked up. And uh, folks, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, if you guys are finding us for the first time, man, we got a bunch more episodes. And also, if you guys are curious about what we actually eat on this show, if you're listening on audio, you're probably just hearing a lot of lip smacking and crunching. And <laughs> if you want to actually see the food, log on to YouTube, man. We got videos and we got, you know, we highlight every restaurant and food establishment that we um, that we frequent. So make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. We're also on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, all the things. And uh, if you really dig what we're doing, like and subscribe and leave us ratings, comments, all that's very helpful. And get on that Patreon, you guys. We are on Patreon. If you really dig what we're doing, feel free that's to right. get More on content there. Coming. All exclusive Patreon only content is there. So um, that's it, guys. We love y'all. We appreciate you. We'll see you on the next one. Good service. We out of here. Peace. Thank you for listening to this episode. Make sure you like, follow, and subscribe and leave us that five-star rating. Follow us on Instagram and TikTok at Good Service Pod and on YouTube at Good Service Podcast. Thank you. Peace. <laughs>